Okay, now I'm going to show you the example of using the text aloud software. Um, and that is the text to speech technology software. Mm, here is this text aloud software. So this is kind of interface of the software. So I'll just I'll just close it down first and have a look at the example. Uh, right here, I'm gonna read a news from the NZ Herald. Uh, one, can, one, one thing I want to stress here, this software works great in English. Um, you can try to use it with a non-English language, uh, but then the kind of pronunciation is quite weird, I, I must say. Okay, here is a news that I just picked up. Mm, this is the text aloud speak bar. Here I can choose uh, any of the speakers installed. Say, uh, I'll choose Laura. And then um, I will ask Laura to read the highlighted text here. So now I'm going to click this text aloud speak button. And we're going to hear Laura read this highlighted text for us. Okay. A man accused of faking his own death has pleaded guilty to four fraud charges. The 42-year-old whose name is suppressed appeared at the Christchurch District Court for a depositions hearing this morning. Police alleged the man staged his suicide in P.T. Waikato in November 2002 and set up a second life in Christchurch under a new identity. His wife had him declared dead last year and collected $1.2 million on his life insurance policies. After about an hour's evidence by his Auckland-based former wife in court today, the man decided to enter guilty pleas to the charges against him. The man has been released on bail to live in Christchurch until sentencing on July 11th. Uh, so that's it, the example that I'm using this software to read the text here. Mm, the fact that the voice produced is more uh, human-like gives this kind of professional impression, I suppose. Mm, I would say this is a great software. Uh, if you hate to read something, you just want to hear, mm, you want to read a blog, uh, I think this software is worth, worth a try. So that's it, the review for the TextLab software. Until then, bye.